Hey guys, Quicktaku here. So they asked me to do this video despite the fact that I've never even played a GameCube in my life. Smart thinking on their part. Anyway, here's 10 facts on gamers. This is Pine Jam's first full-length television show. Previously, the company had only assisted other animation studios in production and done short shows. The studio Pine Jam actually even has a website with a recipe that shows you how to make pineapple jam. Only, it's a bit vague. In episode 12, Karen Tendo is seen dressed up as Ika Musumi from Squid Girl, the character that is Hisako Kanemoto's Tendo's voice actress breakout role. So a little bit of dramatic irony there, but I never saw Squid Girl, so... In the scene where Keita recommends Misumi which visual novel to buy, Misumi mentions one particular visual novel that has received massive appraisal. This visual novel mentioned is actually a reference to the popular video game Clanat. Now, personally, I would have recommended him a much better and more romantic visual novel called Euphoria, but to each their own. Keita Amano's voice actor is actually a voice actress. While most cases of women voicing male characters are usually for when the character is a child, Keita is an odd exception to having a woman voice him instead. But did you even notice? Comes to show how highly skilled a lot of Japanese VAs are. The opening of the show has some overt references to multiple video games, such as Super Smash Bros. and Street Fighter, the most recent one being PUBG, a game which as of right now is still in its alpha stage. So whoever storyboarded the OP must really be up to date with the medium, and good enough to get 6 kills in PUBG. They coming! They coming! Kill them. Oh my uh. god, Kevin! This is the director Manubu Okamoto's first time as chief series director, making this one of the very few major directorial debuts this year. With another round of first timers, this is also Hiroki Uchida's first time as series compositionist for an anime production. But that's not all, this is also Tensho Sato's first time as a character designer for an anime. So Gamers seems to be a first project for many roles only showing proof that growing talents are finally being given positions over the veterans that have previously dominated the industry. While the show itself already carries a high amount of visual references to video games, the official English dub decided to amp it even higher by including multiple other references to geek culture through dialogue, which include Persona and The Ring. Now, I don't know what The Ring has to do with video games, but that's what you get from English dubs. Publishing company Takaraji Mashi hosts an annual contest for light novels in Japan, and in 2016, the light novel for gamers was ranked 4th for Best New Works, showing that despite being a simple rom-com story, it's still able to stand out due to its unique tone and writing. And there you have it, 10 facts on gamers. I hope you like the color purple. <laughs>